Hello music lovers, boys and girls, songwriters, arrangers, guitar players, drummers, anybody interested in writing for horns for their rock band or jazz ensemble. Um, we just got into the last session, I think this is session number five, we just got into uh, writing for three horns. We started writing for two, trumpet and sax, and um, now we're going to get into writing three. And three opens up a whole nother uh, landscape of possibilities. Can you say that? Anyway, so let's start out. Uh, what can we do with, with three horns? They can play in harmony, in a triad. So let's do this. And for, pra for just for vis visibility, I'm going to keep it all on the same staff instead of putting the trombone down here. And the so that way you can really see how the how the triads work. 90% um, of the time, you're going to just do a closed voicing. So that means if the chord is F and the trumpet player plays C, don't forget we talked about in one of the other lessons that you always do arranging from the top down. So this is going to be our trumpet melody. He's going to do this. Okay, he's just going to go ba 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 short quarters, just like that. Okay, so if that's our trumpet, he's in the staff. We're going to write, our tenor is going to be here, and our trombone is going to be here. Okay. Okay, and there we have it. So, very simple. The only closer you can get than that is if we start putting seconds in. Okay, now we have F add 9, but we can get into that later. But for what we're, for sake of discussion, there it is, right there. Okay, so we can do that. There's other ways we can open this up. We can spread it out. We could do, that. as we get into more voices, we can open up and there's a whole bunch of possibilities. So that's one thing we can do. The other thing we talked about is writing in octaves, where we have uh, we have octaves. So we will have two down, put the tenor and the trombone on the lower voice and the trumpet on the higher voice. The other thing we can do is we could have um, we could have the trumpet. Here again is treble clef. We get we could have the trumpet. Let's say the note is D. Ooh, we haven't used D in a while. Um, so let's say it's D. E and that would be F sharp and G to an A. Okay, so let's say the trumpet is playing uh, is playing that. Okay, and a whole and a half. Well, shoot, we'll make it a half note. Okay, so let's say okay. So underneath that, if the trumpet's playing that by himself. The other two could play, if the chord is D, they could be playing uh, like this. They could be playing. And that would be an F sharp. Ba. Let's line everything up appropriately. Ba. 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 Okay. They're doubling. He's got an A. He's got an A. So maybe you could go up to, just to make it pretty, you could go up to a D here. You know, or, yeah, or drop down to a D. You know, go from your F sharp. Here's F sharp again. So the tenor and the trombone are going ba, chick, ba, ba. Why he's going ba, da, 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 da. See? So now we've split them up. And the trumpet could be doing this with the guitar player. You know? Um, so another scenario is you could have, um, let's say you have... Here's a trumpet, okay, D again, he's playing up here, and let's say the trombone player is playing in octaves, okay, uh, what is that, what did I make that, a half note, whatever. So here, the, so, so this could be tenor or trombone, so let's say we make him a trombone, okay, and they're playing in octaves, and the tenor sax is taking a solo, and it's D7. And they're going ba ba da da ba da da. They're just repeating this riff, you know. And he's playing a solo, so that gives you a lot more possibilities uh, for for that scenario. Um, 
And there's the egg timer. Uh, the next session, uh, we're going to get a little bit more into, I want to get a little bit more into harmonizing uh, and we're going to incorporate, uh, we'll play around, we'll do some more stacking in closed voicings and maybe uh, get into some passing chords. There's, you know, uh, diatonic passing like you use it uh, for like a two chord works for passing, um, a two passing, a, a, a diminished uh, half note slide. Um, what are some other ones? There's there's a few other ones that I like to use. Uh, you don't need that many, but there's a few that are that are nice to, to nice to use to know how to get around when you're dealing with eighth notes and you want to harmonize everybody and there's one chord and you don't you want to have nice voice leading. So don't forget, shoot me an email, Fred at FredStickleyMusic.com. And Stickley is spelled well. I'll put it on the lower third um, for you. Uh, and I really appreciate everybody stopping by and look forward to seeing you. Thanks.